Hi guys! Today let's take a quick look at something we never want to do when we learn to ride a motorcycle. This is literally one of the first things I teach my students, because I like my classes to be done in a calm fashion and not like this. This ruckus happens because of the so-called whiskey throttle. Here is how it goes. A student grabs the throttle like this, with his wrist high up. When he starts to open the throttle, if the bike accelerates even a bit faster than expected, the rider's body gets thrown back like this, which opens the throttle even more. Now our rider can't close the throttle, because he has to hold on to the handlebars for his dear life. Normally we don't want that. Even when our body weight moves back a lot, like during the wheel or something, we don't grab the handlebars tightly, we still need to be able to control the throttle, which means we have to keep our arms slightly bent, relaxed and not completely locked. This whiskey throttle thing happens quite often with new riders. For example, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube named like motorcycle epic fails or something like that, and a big chunk of those videos are the whiskey throttle cases. Those happen not because these riders are particularly stupid, they just weren't taught how to use the throttle properly. Instead of grabbing the throttle like this, what we can do instead is we can put our hand like this, so our fingers are lying on the brake lever and our wrist remains straight. And then we open the throttle from this position. You can even keep one or two fingers on the brake if you want, that's not a mistake. That's a personal preference thing. Now look, if we accelerate faster than we anticipated and our body gets thrown back, our throttle is not opening more now, it is closing. This way we pretty much eliminated a chance of unintentionally doing the whiskey throttle. Ok, that's great, but what if I want to accelerate really fast? What if I need a full throttle? Look what happens. To completely open the throttle now, I have to move my wrist down and my right hand goes all wonky. That's not good. Luckily, as always, there is a way around it. When we accelerate fast, our body tends to be thrown back because of inertia. We can compensate for it by being proactive and leaning forward just before we accelerate. This will not only help us with countering the inertia, but also look at what happens with our arms. When we lean forward, our elbows automatically go down and now we can open full throttle without skewing our wrist. And when we need to brake, we do the opposite. We lean our body back and again we can close the throttle and brake normally. All this stuff is pretty trivial, but at the same time surprisingly effective. It allows us to prevent the whiskey throttle accidents and to control our throttle much better in situations when we don't have a lot of traction. On the wet road, for example, or during steep lean angles, where even a small engine bike, if we jerk the throttle too much, we go down. It's quite important to have good throttle control, it is not just an on-off switch. Alright, now, before I finish the video, I have a little announcement for my channel members and Patreons. I'm starting a little fun series of 50 short 2 minute long videos, each one describing a particular hazardous road situation and ways to resolve it. So we not only learn how to ride our bike, but also how we can apply all this stuff on the actual road. And on this positive note, it is time to wrap it up. Thank you for watching, ride safely and have a great day. Bye!